What's up everyone, and welcome to my first ever Monsters of Mortals DLC concept. Yes, if you didn't know, I actually play Monsters of Mortals. The game I decided to make a concept over is Escape the Backrooms, which is not really a surprise there. Do you please note that this isn't official, this is just a fan made thing I decided to do, and there's zero confirmation that Escape the Backrooms will be joining with Monsters of Mortals. This is just a fun little idea I had in mind when I was at work, doing my things. And now, please enjoy the video. Before we begin, let's discuss the history of Escape the Backrooms. Escape the Backrooms first began its development in April of 2022 as a challenge for Game Dead Fancy to turn the Backrooms into a game in one week. The game got released in early access in August 11th of 2022, with a few more levels added to create somewhat of a concept of a game. It didn't get much attention at the time, since the game wasn't in a very good state back then. Then, on Thursday 12th of 2023, the second update dropped, and that's when the game blew up in popularity, it seemed to have a positive outcome, and then, in about a couple of months later, VR support was added, which isn't at a fully working state, still isn't at the moment. On June 15th of 2023, the game's third major update was released with the release of seven new levels. Then, on January 25th, 2024, the game got its fourth major update as well as a proper ending to the game. Escape the Backrooms isn't at a finished state yet, but there's still much for it has yet to deliver. But what if the game crossed over with Monsters and Mortals? What would a potential DLC contain? The Escape the Backrooms DLC will contain three new playable characters one new mortal, and two new monsters. The Party Pooper is the new and only playable mortal in this DLC. The Party Poopers are an extinct entity due to the Fun War, a war between party goers and party poopers. In Escape the Backrooms, we find at least one during the aftermath. The Party Pooper is a part of the support class. Its ultimate ability is called Silent Steps. Its ability is to silence his teammate's steps as well as his own for about 20 seconds. It'll also give the team a 2% defense buff for the remaining 20 seconds. There is a sound that plays that notifies the enemy team whenever the ultimate has ended. That way, it won't sound awkward when the footstep audio turns back on. The skin stealer is a humanoid looking creature that tears its prey and wears its skin as a reward, and it is one of the two playable monsters in this DLC. The first level we see then is in the Habno Zone, and it has the capability to lurch prey by mimicking other organisms, as well as having super speed. This humanoid creature is a part of the speed class, and its ultimate ability is called Mimicry, which has the ability to steal any player's skin, as well as mimic other characters as they are playing as. Its defense will also decrease by 5%, and its damage will increase by 10% when the ultimate ability is active. It lasts for about 30 seconds before changing back into its true form. So the next time you see a Lucky or Beerus or whoever, just remember that might be a skin sealer. The Bacteria is a creature seemingly made out of wires. However, this is the only entity in Skate the Backrooms that is akin to the real Backrooms lore. In this DLC, it is the second monster you're able to play as. We first see this wiry looking creature in level 0, and it's also the first entity that appears in the entire game. The Bacteria is a part of the Power Class. Its ultimate ability is called Power Slam. When this ability is active, at least one player in the foot long radius facing the Bacteria is picked up and slammed onto the ground, dealing 90 damage to the opponent's HP. So, you'll need to aim in order for the Bacteria's ultimate ability to land. Now that we got a look at the playable characters in this DLC, the DLC also gives us a new map taking place in the darkened neighborhood blanketed by night sky. Level 9, the darkened suburbs, or in this scenario, sinister suburbs. Sinister suburbs gives out a ton of fighting space along the roads of the neighborhood, so there will be no need to be W gaming on the streets. In Maze Escape, the mortals will be tasked to collect a total of 700 shards in order to escape. The reason for this is because the neighborhood is widely open and there will be more space for shards to spawn in. The darkened suburbs in the backrooms lore, which is carried on in Escape the Backrooms, is guarded by an entity called the Neighborhood Watch, which happens to be the boss of this DLC's map. The Neighborhood Watch is this nightmarish looking eyeball from Hell itself. Its role in Monsters of Mortals is very similar of how it plays in Escape the Backrooms. Whenever boss time summons, Two of these creatures will spawn, and the player must stay out of the entity's sight, for if it sees you, it'll charge you and attempt to attack you, taking away 50% of your HP, unless you change paths. 
However, there is a way to stun or knock it down. You must hit the entity 5 times with heavy attack or 10 times with light attack in order to knock the creature down for about 10 seconds. This should give you enough time to get out its viewing radius. While the suburbs don't have any traps in the game itself, it does feature other entities. The entity that is chosen for the neighborhood's dangerous traps are the female death moths, which happens to be the only part of the DLC that is taken directly from the wiki dot instead of the game itself. Female death moths like to chill on the top of the light poles throughout the neighborhood, so you're going to have to look up in order to see which light pole they are inhabiting because they don't inhabit every light pole around the neighborhood. To avoid them, you must step back a certain distance away from the light pole in order to avoid their attack. If stepping into their territory, they'll take away 15% of the player's HP. And that is my entire Monsters and Mortals DLC concept for Escape the Backrooms. I hope you enjoyed, and that is about it, and I'll see you in the next video.